welcome to Yoga and You. I'm Sanjana. And today we're going to go through five yoga poses that help to open up your hips. These five poses are very, very suited for beginners who are just starting off their yoga practice. If you notice, a lot of us struggle with tight hips because one, we sit a lot, a lot of times. And also, if you're extremely stressed, it always shows up in your shoulders and your hips. So it's very, very important to open up your hips because once your hips are open, more postures become accessible for you. So let's start off with these five postures that are suited for beginners today. You're going to start with the first posture, which is Baddha Konasana. You're probably very familiar with this or butterfly pose. So you're going to keep your heels close to the groin, the soles of your feet touching each other. If you'd like to do a three finger grip on your big toes, you can and try to lengthen up. First, try to tilt your pelvis forward and try not to round your back. If this is happening when you're trying to achieve this posture, you're going to move your heels slightly away from you and then see if you can grip your big toes and sit up a little bit more. If you still feel you're rounding your back, you're going to use a block, sit up on the block, give your hips a little bit of elevation so you can keep your soles of the feet together, your spine nice and long and just allow your knees to drop and sink into the floor. Adjust the distance between your heels and your groin according to your comfort. Inhale here and let's just stay here for a couple of breaths trying to lengthen the spine as much as you can and allow your knees to drop into the floor. Breathe here and feel your hips opening up, relaxing. Try to lengthen your exhalation and breathe into your hips. If you find this posture very comfortable and you want to push yourself a little bit more, you can continue to grip your big toes and as you exhale, start bending forward. So you tilt the pelvis, draw your abdomen in, start extending the spine forward. So when you do this, there is a chance that your knees might come off. So you're going to use your blocks underneath the knees on both sides. So you have good support for the knees and then it becomes easier for you to go lower. Once you've reached your maximum position, you can use another block if you like. Just rest your forehead on the block and relax. As you inhale, very gently roll up. The next one you're going to do is a similar posture, but you're going to do the same thing lying down. Supta Baddha Konasana. So lie down comfortably. Again, bring the soles of your feet together, your heels close to the groin. Again, if your knees are lifting up too much, use a block under the knees and allow them to rest on the block comfortably. And completely let go. Don't try to resist and tighten your hips. Let go. Exhale and let your hips relax and open up as much as you can. Try not to overarch your back. Maintain a natural arch and if you can, inhale and take your arms up. Open your chest. Completely open up. Your chest is open. Once you start getting comfortable here, you can remove your blocks. Allow your knees to sink further into the floor. Continue breathing. As you exhale, bring your arms down and bring your knees together. From here, you're going to bring your knees up close into the chest. Lift your legs up, flex the feet and then open your knees out. Take your hands from inside of your legs and hold the arches of your feet for your happy baby pose. As you exhale, allow your knees to sink into the floor, open up as much as you can. If your chin is lifting up when you do this, place a tiny cushion underneath your neck so you can keep the chin down. So your entire spine is on the floor, your lower back is well rested on the mat. You're gonna stay here and breathe. Keep allowing your knees to go down and down and down. Breathe here, breathe into your hips, focus on releasing completely.
on your next exhalation very gently release your legs hug your knees into your chest bring your forehead up to your knees if you can just stay here for one second give yourself a nice tight hug and as you inhale slowly release your feet down and stretch your legs forward one by one from here on your next exhalation you're going to bend only your right knee and bring it close to the chest as close as you can again here if you feel like your chin is lifting up you're going to use a cushion behind your neck and allow your head to rest fully down on the floor as you inhale use your right hand and very gently slowly move your right knee to the right side as much as you can what you need to focus on here is as you're bringing this knee down make sure your left hip is not coming off okay you're going to try and press the left hip down as well keep it stable on the floor and at the same time bring your right knee down as much as you can so to support this you can use a block underneath your knee allow it to rest on the block keep your hips nice and open and breathe here press the back of your left thigh down into the floor and that will help you to really open up your hips more and keep pressing down breathing into your hips on your next inhale slowly come back to center you're going to keep your knee close to the chest and as you exhale use your left hand this time and slowly drop your knee to the opposite side so i'm using my right leg so i'm going to drop it towards my left side and take my right arm stretch it to my shoulder level and don't allow your shoulder blade to lift off so press it down into the floor at the same time use your palm to release your knee down into the mat breathe here as you inhale come back to center one more time hug your right knee into the chest try to observe if it feels a little easier to bring your knee into the chest after you've stretched on both sides and on your next inhale bring your foot down and relax take a moment to see if you can find any difference between your right and your left hip and you're going to repeat the same on the left side and try to balance out both sides So as you exhale you're going to hug the left knee into the chest first keep your right leg active and pressing down into the floor chin stays down so your entire spine is rested on the floor on your next inhale use your left hand this time very slowly and gently drop your knee to the left side without lifting the hip up so you're going to press your right hip down use a block to support the left knee on the floor and stay here and breathe it's very important to use support as much as you can whether it's blocks or your straps or bolster or cushion because we want to try to achieve the openness in the hips at the same time maintain comfort and stability if you force yourself too much without using the support of props one you won't be comfortable second there is no purpose in doing the posture so use support be comfortable allow your breath to be smooth and long As you exhale slowly bring your knee back to center take one inhale here exhale and gently drop your knee to your right side and you're going to press the left shoulder blade into the floor here again you can use the support of the block so you always feel supported and comfortable inhale slowly come back to center exhale hug the knee again into the chest and see if you're able to hug it closer now and as you inhale slowly bring your leg down stretch your legs forward stay here for a second 
just observe how your hips feel turn your legs in and out see if your hips are a little more mobile than when you started your practice slowly take your arms up point your feet interlock your fingers stretch up as you exhale relax turn to one side and you're going to sit up so those were five postures that are very very helpful for beginners to start working on opening up your hips again we stress on the use of props and some kind of support especially if you're just beginning your practice because initially we want to make these small muscles these delicate joints accessible for you by using the support once you're able to access them and then you are able to practice these postures comfortably you can slowly release the support and move on to a progressive the next progression in your practice so this was for a beginner's uh, hip opener five postures that you can do this is yoga and you and i'm sanjana and see you in another section thank you